Okay, we're going to open up Internet Explorer and we're going to take a look at AAAMath.com. Do you say AAA, right? Or you say AAA? I'm actually going to www.aamath.com. Let's see how we do. Looks like we're zoomed in a little much here, huh? There we go. It's a little better. AAAMath.com has a lot of practices and a lot of information. As a for instance, if I come over here on the left side and click percent, it brings me to information about percentages. Calculating percentages, relationships, and uses. Farther down the page, I have a whole bunch of subtypes. For instance, calculating a percent of a number. This is something we've done in class. Finding a percent of the number, they give you an option to practice. Practice is where I'm going to go. When I click Start, it says, what is 54% of 99? Determine the answer to the nearest whole number. So I pull out my calculator. I type in 0.54 times 99. That should make sense to folks. Of tends to mean times when you're using uh, percents. 0.54 times 99, and I get rounded off to the nearest whole number. should be 54. Oh, 53. That's what I get for not actually using the calculator. Notice it tells me 54% 54 of 99 equals 53. My apologies, Mr. Grace. Yes. You went to finding a percent of a number? there. I went to, let's see where I went. Let me go back. Finding a percent of a number, and then I went to practice. Okay. And I can go back. <coughs> Just a minute. We have other subtopics as well. How about percents and decimals? Mm -hmm. I can practice that. Change 18% into a decimal. 0.18. There we go. I know I got that right. Oh, they want me to type 0 0.18. Excuse me. 0 0.44 for 44%. Correct. Thank you. I finally got one right. This website, though, has unlimited practices like this. And we are just touching on things. How about uses of percent? What about sales tax? Let's practice that. What is the sales tax of $19.75 if the tax rate is 6%? Gosh, do I have time to do that in my head? You know what? Let's actually pull up the calculator and do this one. 6%, that's 0 0.06 times 1975. 1.185. I'm going to say that should be $1.19, rounding that 0.185 off. Let's see, $1.19. Correct. All oh, right. Oh. I got another one right. These are little word problems that are generated. And it's not just sales tax. How about markup? How about shipping and handling? Simple interest. All sorts of good stuff. Coming back, back to AAAMath.com. Percents are just the tip of the iceberg. We have percents, we have fractions, uh, we have decimals. Those are three things we've been working on. But we have a whole bunch more as well. And I will encourage people to explore this site and practice with it.